China's 24 solar terms are hoping to be granted intangible cultural heritage status by UNESCO this week. The traditional Chinese practice is knowledge of time and practices gained by observing the sun's annual motion. There is a large set of heritage values that are not tangible in the sense of being a monument or being a city or being a, you know, a landscape or something fixed like this, not a site. So, you know, we, 10 years ago, the, actually 13 years ago, uh, the UNESCO decided to include, to create a new tool to include also heritage that is highly recognized by the communities and by nations and so on, but didn't have a definition. A new convention to help protect global intangible heritage came into effect in 2013. Since then, UNESCO has received an average of 30 proposals per year from countries hoping parts of their culture will receive the prestigious status and the protection that accompanies it. The convention is not there to determine this originates here or this originates here or this originates here. That may be a legitimate question, but that's not what safeguarding uh, intangible cultural heritage under this convention is about and what it is looking is for where are communities expressing and living and still today it must still be alive. Cultural practices in Botswana, Kenya, Uganda, Portugal, Ukraine and Cambodia have also been nominated for consideration. UNESCO maintains intangible cultural heritage can play a role in restoring social cohesion and supporting reconciliation. And that is why it is important to safeguard these practices to ensure they are not lost in a world that is constantly evolving. Koletranjohi for CCTV in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.